Hi there, I'm Raina Astrid and I am of course a huge Disney fan. Ever since I was six, I've been in theater and got to play iconic characters like Alice from Alice in Wonderland, Mushu from Mulan, and even Mrs. Potts from Beauty and the Beast. Which is why it's practically impossible in every way to pick just one favorite Disney movie. But Mary Poppins Returns is definitely one of mine. It takes an amazing classic character and puts her into a thrilling, modern musical that everyone of all ages can enjoy, sing along, and dance to. Dick Van Dyke, who played Jack in the original 1964 film, proved that when he was showcase dancing his heart out on top of a table at 93 years old, which brought the perfect touch of nostalgia we were all hoping for. The sheer spectacle and showmanship alone are reason enough to watch this film. In songs like Trip a Little Light Fantastic, the Learys dance, flip, and fly their way through the lovely London sky with acrobatic ease that is seriously unmatched. But even without all of that, Mary Poppins Returns would still be wildly successful due to its heartwarming, family-centered plotline. The three Banks children, whose mom had just passed away, helped their dad save the family house before the bank owner evicts them. Mary Poppins descends from the sky quite literally like a guardian angel to save the day. She takes the kids on fantastical adventures, like in the song Can You Imagine That, where they go in a bathtub but end up in the ocean with giant rubber ducks and dogs swimming 20 feet underwater. But really, can you imagine that? Or in my personal favorite, the cover is not the book, where they go inside the world of a royal Dalton bowl and turn into two-dimensional characters, which, side note, let's give the show's costume director, Sandy Powell, the biggest round of applause for these gorgeous hand-painted costumes that I think deserve so many awards. Anyways, this fast-paced song features Lin-Manuel Miranda doing what he does best. That's right, rapping. There really is something for everyone in this movie. That, plus the combination of cartoons next to real people, brings a vintage style of animation that I just love. By the end of the film, we learn that family is stronger together and no matter how difficult of a situation you're in, there are always people that you can count on to help. Another really big theme is to enjoy life and not take everything so seriously. Remember to just stop, have fun, and find love in what you do. The cliche, love conquers all, is a cliche because it's true. And isn't that really what Disney's been teaching us this whole time? Hi there, I'm Raina Astrid. <coughs> My throat. <clears throat> Definitely one of mine. It takes... Who played Jack in the 1964 film was proof that... Are you freaking kidding me? Three Banks children who... <coughs> Let's give this show... One more time. Go inside the world of a royal Dalton bowl and ah, I don't keep messing this up. <clears throat> Anyways, this fast paced song features Lin Manuel. Oh my gosh, I can't do this for some reason. <clears throat> nope, that's still not right. Another really big theme is to, re oh my gosh, another real shay because it's true. And isn't that really what, isn't that really, enjoy life. Uh, nope. 